Hello, welcome to your St. John Narana midweek message for this week from Narana Lutheran Church again. As I record this today, my sweet and lovely Peggy and I are getting ready to head off to Mexico. Same place we went last year, to the little village of Teotihuacan, an hour out of Mexico City. And we're going to learn to rest, to spend time in a, a special place, a place of much prayer, much devotion over time. Again, what I've referred to, what I've referred to previously as a thin place, a place where people have been praying and devoting their lives to the worship of God for a long time. A place that influenced cultures that came much later. A place whose history is shrouded in mystery. God continues to pour out grace and love into the world. We had last Sunday a lesson talking about Nineveh, a place that Jonah, the prophet, didn't like because the Ninevites were a great empire that was holding down Israel. So he wanted God to crush their power, to destroy that great city. And the story goes that God sends Jonah to warn Nineveh to change their ways. And Jonah says, mm -mm, I'm not going there. And you see, in the end, it's because Jonah believes that if he's successful, the Ninevites, the people who he hates so much, are going to repent and be forgiven. And that's what happens. The story tells us that again and again through history, God surprises us with grace. Grace that breaks in where sometimes we're angry to have it happen because it's the wrong people. But the wrong people are the people that God always comes to. God always comes with grace, mercy, and forgiveness to the people we least expect. There are so many stories in our New Testament of Jesus giving grace and acceptance and welcome to the wrong people. So this week, let's follow Jesus into welcoming the wrong people. Because, you know, when it comes down to it, for everybody in the world, there are wrong people. And there are those in the world who see us as the wrong people. We're all in the same boat, really, even though we're not in the same decks. Or we could say we're in the same storm, though not in the same kind of boats. Our call is to be merciful to others and to share the great privilege we have. And when we do that, our world benefits and God's grace abounds.